Yo, what's happening, Atlanta Bird Gang? It's your dog, Toddy. Hey, let's get straight to the business, man. CJ Stroud. I feel like our Falcons really need to prioritize CJ Stroud. I feel like CJ Stroud should be the number one player on their big board going into this draft. Yes, CJ Stroud. Yes, a quarterback. Yeah. And I know that's a controversial topic among the fan base. You know, some people say, well, we don't need a quarterback. Some people say, yeah, we need a quarterback. You know, what else is new in Falcons fans? We hardly ever, as Falcons fans, we hardly ever agree about anything uh, regarding the personnel of, uh, within the team. But I'm, I'm just going to give y'all my, my spiel on it real quick, man. Um, I feel like it's time to go and draft a first-round quarterback. I know I know Desmond Ritter is here. And I know we still got a game to play this coming weekend. So far in three games, I, I haven't been overly impressed with Ritter. I have been impressed during some parts of, of his play. But um, overall, he's played like I thought he would play. He's played like a third-round draft pick. And I, I just really feel like, man... You need to go get you a first-round draft pick, Atlanta Falcons. You need to go get some first-round talent at the at the most important position in American sports, you know, the quarterback position. And I really feel like we may have the opportunity. It may not be a big opportunity, but I think the opportunity will be there to get C.J. Stroud, even if you got to trade up to go get him. I feel like the Falcons need to go get him. Now, I've kind of already convinced myself that Bryce Young will go number one in Houston. And I'm thinking Jalen Carter, Will Anderson will go two and three. You you can you could put them, you could put either one at two or three, but I think those would be the next two draft picks. And the Cardinals right now will be drafting at four. So if we got to trade up to four from, from like six or seven, where we'll probably end up at. And go get him. We need to go get him. It it won't cost that much to trade up a few spots because we're still going to be in the top ten, maybe in the top eight, depending on what happens this weekend with all the NFL games. But I feel like man, it's time to go get a a, a first a first round quarterback who has a first round grade and 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 solidify the quarterback position. I really don't feel like, and I've told y'all this hundreds of times, but I just don't feel like a new general manager, new head coach, going going to put their jobs, their their um, legacies on the line for a third round draft pick in Desmond Ritter. Uh, nothing against Ritter at all, but I think the priority needs to be C.J. Stroud. I really do, um, and I know some people will go say, "Well, you got to build a team first and then get the quarterback last." Yada 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 yada. <laughs> But, um, you know, the past few years, the past few drafts, that's kind of what we've been doing a little bit. You know, you, you went and got Lindstrom and, 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 and McGre uh, McGarry in the first round. Then you went and got some weapons. You went and got Kyle Pitts. You went and got Drake London. You drafted Troy Anderson early. You drafted AK early. Hey, man, it's it's time to spend some real draft capital on the most important position, quarterback. Yeah, I, I know the defense needs help. I know the defense needs a lot of help. But hello, the offense isn't that great either, y'all. Hello, we're the second worst passing offense in the NFL. Second worst. So the offense needs a lot of help too. It's 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 time to go and drive. The top rated college quarterback. The, again, the most important position, you need to swing for the fences at the most important position. Don't settle for a middle round draft pick at the most important position and hope it works. If if you go get CJ Stroud, hypothetically speaking, you go get a CJ Stroud in the first round, it don't work. You know what? You can live with that because you went out swinging for the fences. It's like bases loaded, two outs, World Series. You down by two or three runs, you swung for the fences. 
you didn't punt and hope you can get in. You feel what I'm saying? You swung for the fences. So you get Stroud, he don't work. At least you went out swinging. It's time to go get a first round draft pick at quarterback, man. Solidify that position. Arthur Blake was at the um the playoff game when Georgia played Ohio State in his stadium, Mercedes Benz. He saw CJ Stroud out there doing that thing to Georgia. He saw he saw Stroud out there painting the Bulldogs. And I'm a diehard Bulldog fan. I watched it too. I'm like, God damn, but CJ Stroud putting his thing on us. It's, it's, it's time, man. So even if you got to trade up and go get Stroud, you do it. You Mortgage the future on a first-round pick at quarterback and don't mortgage the future on a third-round pick at quarterback. Nothing against Desmond Ritter. But for the Falcons to wait until the third round to draft him, that tells me they didn't think as highly of him as a lot of the Falcons fans do. Uh, and I'm going to give you all some, some breakdown on on this current era of NFL Super Bowl winners. The current era of NFL Super Bowl winners. The last 15 Super Bowl winners have, have been won by teams with a first-round quarterback. Out of the last 15 years, nine of the Super Bowl winning teams had a first round quarterback. Nine out of 15. Four was won by Tom Brady, which is sports biggest anomaly of all time. Four of them was won by Brady. Nine first round picks. Four was won by Tom Brady in the last 15 years. The other two was a third round pick, Russell Wilson. The other one was Drew Brees who was drafted in the second round. And Drew Brees, Drew Brees was actually drafted, he was the first pick in the second round. So really, I would argue that Drew Brees is just like a first rounder. He was the very first pick in the second round. So you can see this current era, the most recent history, they're, they're, the teams are winning with first round quarterbacks. Russell Wilson, again, he won as a third rounder, so you, that's one out of the last 15 compared to like nine or ten out of the last 15. Now, if you take, if you push Tom Brady out this equation with his four, that's essentially about 90, 95% of the Super Bowl winning teams have been won with, with quarterbacks drafted in the first round. So let's stop playing. If we gotta, if we gotta trade up and go get CJ Stroud, go get him. Go, go get him. Go get him and get your first round quarterback in here. You, you spent the fourth round draft pick on the tight end at Kyle Pitts. You spent the, uh, excuse me, you, you spent the number four pick on Kyle Pitts. You spent the number eight pick on Drake London. So spend another top eight pick and go get your quarterback for those weapons. I mean, let's, let's. Let's go ahead and get this and get this rebuild finished. If you're drafting in the top seven, top eight for three consecutive years, conventional wisdom tells me you need to find you a quarterback because your quarterback position ain't solidified. If you keep drafting in the top eight, so go get your quarterback, man. Go 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 ahead and get your quarterback. Bring C.J. Stroud in here. Bring him in here. He 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 he's he has the size, he has the height, he has the experience. His college career, he done threw like 85 touchdowns and only 12 interceptions. His quarterback reign in college is like 185, damn near 190. He showed all the poise in the world against a a, a highly touted Georgia Bulldogs defense. And I love my dogs, but he had us looking like puppies. For a large part of that game was looking like the Georgia Bull Puppets. Shout out to my Bulldogs, but I'm just hey, I'm gonna keep it real now. So let's go get a quarterback, man. You know, if we if we go get a defender, I'm not gonna be irate about it or whatever, but man, I, I feel like it's time to go get a quarterback, man. I feel like it's time to go get a quarterback. 
And I feel like CJ Stroud would be that guy. And I, I know some people will push back and say, well, you know, CJ Stroud, he don't really like to run. He's, you know, you know, Arthur Smith, he likes, you know, mobile, real mobile quarterbacks. And I think that's somewhat of a fallacy. I think it's kind of a fallacy. You know, you had Matt Ryan here and, and the three games that Desmond Ritter has played. He's not – Arthur Smith is not requiring Desmond Ritter to do a lot of running. You had Mariota here, and that was Mariota's strength, a, being able to run and, and, and show his mobility at a quarterback. So, of course, Arthur Smith's coach, he game plan for the quarterback strength when Mariota was a starter. But man, let's let's go ahead and solidify the most important position. You know, let, let's stop crossing our fingers and hoping that this third round pick does the improbable. If you look at the percentages and the odds, third round pick quarterbacks, they just don't pan out, man. They they don't pan out. So make CJ Stroud a priority. Bring CJ Stroud to the a to Atlanta, make him a dirty bird, make him a Falcon. And let's go ahead and finish out the rebuild. You know, of all the people who just feel like we should go all defense, fine. Give us Stroud and y'all can have all the, all the rest of the, the picks in the draft. They can be all defense for all I care. But bring a quarterback in here, man, that, that has a first round grade, first round talent, first round arm. It's the most important position. It's the most important position. Don't you want to spend that's like your best draft pick at the most important position instead of in the middle of the draft? Just makes sense to me. But y'all tell me what y'all think, man. You think you think we should do what we need to do to go get Stroud? If that means we trade up number four with the Cardinals, because because I'm sure the Bears, Chicago Bears, they're not going to draft the quarterback. The Cardinals, they're not going to draft the quarterback. Now, right now, the Colts are in front of us. The Colts are going to take a quarterback if one of those guys are there, Stroud, Levis, they're going to get a quarterback because they need to draft the quarterback now because they've been dealing with veterans and it hasn't worked out for them. So let's go ahead and do it now, even if that means trading up for him, trade up for him while we are currently in the top eight. Let's not wait until... A year, or two, a year or two from now when we're drafting 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th and we're forced to draft the quarterback and now you got to jump 10 or 12 slots to trade up and get one that's worth something in the first round. Let's go ahead and do it now. Because if we finish with the, the number 7th pick or the number 8th pick, it won't cost that much to, to go up to number 4 if we got to. To go up to number 6 if we have to. It won't cost that much. But if you find yourself Drafted in the middle of the first round, oh, it's going to cost you a pretty penny, buddy. But y'all tell me what y'all opinion, man. Y'all think we need to prioritize drafting C.J. Stroud? Or do you think we don't need to worry about drafting a quarterback right now? Or do you feel like Ritter is going to be the guy? Tell me what you think. Make sure to come, make sure to, um, to, to give me your opinion in the comments. Y'all know how we do. We'll chop it up in the comments. We'll talk about it there. If you like this video, if you enjoy the content that we provide here on Atlanta Bird Game, make sure that you do subscribe to the channel. We are on a 1,000 subscriber grind, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. Help us get reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers on this channel. Like the video, and uh, also hit the notification bell. I'll see y'all the next time I see y'all. Peace.